7 returns. America's number one adventurer, K-7, former United States secret agent who operated in 22 countries on land, on sea, and in the air, brings you a story of today. We take you to secret agent K-7's headquarters. This is K-7 speaking. Send in agent Z for assignment. At once, K-7. Special agent Z reporting for duty. Agent Z, we have come here to the Far East to locate a spy. He is wanted by a certain nation in connection with a military trial of a high-ranking officer, one Major Harrell. I am convinced the charges against Major Harrell are false, but only a confession by the spy can save him from facing a firing squad. Out here, he is rumored to be working with a patriot named Wong. I want you to locate him and somehow bring him into the international settlement for questioning. This folder contains all known facts. Keep me informed. The next day, the spy, Dorn Brassai, and Wong talked together in the garden of Wong's home. I have been able to locate six bombers and nine pursuit planes. They will be flown to the city circled on the map tomorrow morning. You are prepared to pay for them, Wong? The money has arrived from my government. We will go to the bank and get it this afternoon. Tell me, at what time will the planes arrive at the field where they are to be delivered? About six in the morning. They are being flown in tonight under cover of darkness. It is good. If our enemies knew the airplanes were being delivered... They would destroy the field. Uh, What time will you be back here with the money? As the sun goes down, you will meet me here. Now I have many matters to attend. The white one will pardon my absence. My servant will let you out. I will be here at six o'clock. Next morning, Agent Z and his assistant, Patricia Norwood, talked together over a late breakfast. Z had just returned from a mysterious errand that had taken him into the native quarter. He told Pat what he'd learned. Pat, I've uncovered a great many things in the last two days. Dorn Brassai has been acting as an agent for Wong. He purchased 15 planes for him this week. Then he's working for Wong's government. Uh, Indirectly, yes. But he's also working for Wong's enemies. What do you mean, Z? Yesterday morning, I succeeded in planting a dictaphone in Wong's garden. He follows the usual Chinese custom of transacting much of his business there. I heard Wong arrange to pay Brissai for the airplanes. Late yesterday afternoon, he did pay him. Pat, as soon as Wong had paid him, Brissai went directly to Wong's enemies and told them about the airplanes. How many and what types they were, how and when they were to be flown in last night and the location of the field they would arrive at this morning. He double-crossed him. Yes, Pat, and that's a dangerous game out here. This morning, enemy bombing planes appeared over the field within ten minutes after the new planes landed. Every one of them was destroyed. Brassai was paid for the information? Yes, and he also collected a big commission from Wong's government for buying the planes. He's making money from both sides, but I've got a hunch he won't be long. 
Why do you say that, Z? Because Wong also suspects him. When Brisai left Wong's garden last night, he was followed by a man who reported back to Wong. Now, if we're going to get a confession from him that will clear Major Harrell, we've got to work fast. I don't think Brisai is long to live. What are your plans? We're going to use direct methods, Pat. I'm having Brisai watched. He's safe for the time being. I want you to go to Wong. Tell him everything. Tell him that if he can get Brisai into the international settlement, he'll be arrested immediately. If Wong knows of Brisai's treachery, and I'm sure he does, he'll welcome a method of getting him out of the way. Later that afternoon, Pat faced the patriot Wong in his garden. She showed him her credentials and asked his help. Mr. Wong, I've come to you for a favor. If there is reason, it will be freely given. I am here in the East to locate a spy named Don Brusai. In a certain country in Europe, he betrayed a patriot. Unless I locate him and get a confession from him, an innocent man will face the firing squad. His family will be disgraced. Why have you come to me? Because you are the only one who can make Brazai enter the international settlement where he can be placed under arrest. He betrayed one patriot, Mr. Wong. He may also betray you. You possess much knowledge for one so young. I'm not working alone, Mr. Wong. It is written, there is no traitor like him who plants a poison within the breast that trusted to his truth. Then you will help me. That must be thought out. Mr. Wong... I'm going to lay every card on the table. We know that Brasai acted for you, that you commissioned him to purchase planes for your government. Too much knowledge is sometimes dangerous. We know that you paid Brasai for those planes, and that he left this garden and went directly to your enemies. This morning, the airplanes you bought for your government were destroyed within a few minutes after they'd been delivered. Brasai betrayed you. He betrayed you just as he betrayed another innocent man. I want a confession from him to clear that other man's honor. Here in the East, we believe in settling our own accounts. I think I know what you mean, Mr. Wong. But you can't kill Brisai. If you do, another innocent man will also die. I must have Brisai's confession. It is true that two should not die for one. You plead the cause of justice. I will help you, but you will have to work with speed. What do you mean? I will send one of my men to the spy, Brassai. Tonight, he will cross the bridge into the international settlement at ten o'clock. That's all we want. Wait. Wang has not finished. He will cross the bridge at ten o'clock. You will have only one hour to question him. What do you mean, Mr. Wang? I have spoken. One twenty-fourth of the day is all that will be left to Mr. Brassai when he comes to you. That evening, one of Wong's men went to the spy, Brasai. He told him that Wong had discovered his treachery and that the only place he would be safe was in the international settlement. The warning was well-timed. Brasai entered the settlement at one minute past ten. A few minutes later, he was brought to Agent Z's rooms. Oh, sit down, Brasai. Who are you? Why have I been brought here? I think you know. I'm Special Agent Z. I'm working with the intelligence department of the country you left ten weeks ago. Oh, you followed me here. The man you betrayed, Major Harrell, faces military court next week. You stole the defense plans from him. What? He trusted you in his home. Now, I want a written confession that will clear him. I don't know what you're talking about. I stole no plans. The major sold them to you're me. You're lying, Brasai. Now, there's a pen and paper. Write what I dictate. <laughs> well, you can't make me. It's a lie. I stole nothing. Brasai, I'm going to count to ten. Unless you pick up that pen and write a confession before I finish, I'm going to take you back to the native quarter and turn you over to Wong. You know what that'll mean? Now, one, two... I don't know what you're talking three, about. Three. Wong is my friend. Four. I've been working with him, I tell you. Six. I can't tell you anything about Major Harrell. Seven. He showed me the plan. Eight. I didn't steal them. Nine. Stop. I'll write the confession. 
What is anything you want? Here's the pen and paper. Write what I dictate. I swear, I swear that I stole, that I stole the defense plans, the defense plans from Major Horrell. From Major Horrell. Major Horrell. Major Horrell. He is innocent. He is innocent. What's the matter with his uh, eye? Uh, my, my arms. They won't move. My legs. Here, sign that confession. Hurry. Here, no. I'll hold your hand. V. Water. V, your face is purple. Water. Poison. I am... V. V, he's fallen off the chair. Help him. No one can help him now, Pat. Now you know what Wong meant when he told you that in the East, each man settles his own accounts. Versailles was with us just one twenty-fourth of a day, Pat. What do you mean, Z? Look at the clock. Versailles lived just 60 minutes after he arrived here. did an international spy pay for his treachery with his life. It is often the fate of those who work against peace. Listen for my next story. This is K7 speaking. (laughs) 